here to talk to you about our advancements and the work that we're doing to help bring ARM to data centers uh, all around the world. If you've seen our recent GTC keynote, you'll know that we just announced NVIDIA Grace, a new CPU designed to work intimately with our GPUs to help train and work on giant AI problems for next generation AI. Grace is a uh, new CPU designed to sit directly next to our GPUs. It features over 900 gigabytes a second uh, interconnect between the GPU and CPU, and a new kind of memory architecture based on LPDDR5X memory, which offers over 500 gigabytes a second of bandwidth. This combined Grace module actually will allow developers to train one trillion and beyond parameter models of AI, which is just in impossible to do today, would take literally months to train, where Grace, uh, a Grace system could, could train in just three days. We're very excited to be working on Ar with ARM using the future Neoverse core to make Grace possible. And it's only because of ARM's open ecosystem and ability to innovate that allows us to build this new kind of processor for, for HPC and AI. In addition to, to the Grace CPU, we're also working with the cloud. We've recently announced a partnership with AWS to bring our Gravi their Graviton CPUs and our GPUs together to provide a new kind of GPU accelerated ARM instance to the cloud. This new uh, ARM instance will be obviously available for AI and HPC workloads, but also for mobile gaming or many parts of the world where Android gaming is the norm. We can be able to stream games with a Graviton CPU and NVIDIA GPU right to the mobile client. We're excited to bring this to market later this year. To help advance ARM developer community, and particularly in HPC and scientific computing, we've partnered with Ampere Computing to bring a new system to the market for HPC developers with, this, with an Ampere CPU and two NVIDIA A100 GPUs and Bluefield processors. This system will help the HPC community port their applications from legacy platforms to the new ARM uh, data center uh, that will be built in, in these coming years. And we're very excited to bring this platform to the community and give the developers something to work with today with all of NVIDIA's SDKs and H, uh, for HPC and AI ready to use and explore this, this new architecture. In addition to uh, the cloud and HPC, we're also working on Edge with Marvel Computing and in PC for uh, and the PC and gaming space with MediaTek, bringing our GPU platforms to all of these ecosystems. In addition, we're working on our compiler stack. Uh, NVIDIA's uh, and HPC compilers are being ported to deliver and produce SVE uh, optimizations in cooperation with Fujitsu, which uh, they have, currently have the, the current number one supercomputer in the world. Not just CPUs, but also in networking, Arms ha ARM has an important role to play. NVIDIA has uh, builds DPUs, processors that are designed to offload the CPU uh, for doing virtualization and security tasks that are necessary for cloud environments and enterprise environments and offload to that to a smart NIC where it can be doing all the virtualization tasks and networking tasks, leaving the CPU free for enterprise customers and, and users to get the full performance of the CPU. Our D uh, latest DPU product announcement, the Bluefield 3, was just announced at our GTC conference. Bluefield 3 consists of 22 billion transistors with a wide variety of different accelerators, but at the core, it has 16 ARM CPU cores uh, for offloading all the virtualization and security tasks. Again, by licensing cores from ARM, we're able to build innovative platforms that allow us to make better experiences for cloud and, and enterprise users by offloading all those, those workloads uh, to a smart NIC. And finally, uh, in, we've also announced that the next generation supercomputer being built in Switzerland in 2023 will be the world's fastest AI supercomputer, again, built on ARM. Leveraging the Grace CPU, this new supercomputer called Alps, hosted at the CSCS Supercomputing Center, will be able to uh, deliver over 20 exaflops of AI performance. Alps is designed to be an amazing AI and HPC system focused on uh, advancing next generation weather and climate modeling and advanced material simulation. In addition, researchers at Alps are very excited to leverage the AI language processing uh, and models to be applied to scientific discovery in using the next generation GRACE module. We're very excited to be working with ARM and bringing ARM to the data center. And this is just, I think, uh, just one step along the way of many new innovations that ARM is going to bring to this ecosystem.